Lili Bechterstein. My Carolina Reaper chocolate has finally produced the first ripe fruit. This is actually my first uh, chocolate variety and I was under the wrong assumption that they would eventually ripen to red, but uh, apparently that's not the case, so let's take this one off. Well, uh, as you can see, uh, not really prominent stingers present, except for this one here, but otherwise uh, the fruits are quite variable and the new ones also, they vary in shape, but um, they have in common that they are quite irregular in shape and uh, not really smooth in the surface. From time to time there is uh, more or less a stinger attached to the whole fruit. But I guess either this variety uh, came into being by crossing the regular Carolina Reaper with a chocolate, chocolate variety or it's a, mut a, mut a mutation that happened in the Carolina Reaper line uh, back when it wasn't uh, stabilized. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, it's a bit of a bummer that uh, these nice tails are not really all that prominent on this plant. But um, I can live with that. In any case, the fruits look kind of nasty. And that's probably quite fitting. Production is quite okay. There are new fruits forming. Let's move on to the taste test. For this one I have something special in mind. I want to try out a new heat remedy. This is a sandwich with a thick layer of mascarpone, a type of Italian fresh cheese. And um, I have some years ago I he heard that it would be optimal to have mascarpone and uh, bread as a heat remedy. Uh, it was investigated, I think, uh, for taste test panels. and. Um, to find the optimal way to wash off heat between tastes, uh, tastings. And, um, well, let's try this out. Boop! Uh, um, all right, uh, let's see if mascarpone sandwich can fight off the heat of the Carolina Reaper chocolate. FOR SCIENCE! Uh, well, actually it's not really science. Um, for... Anecdotal, Anecdotal evidence! evidence. <laughs> okay, it's um, about two years have passed since the last time I tried a really super hot in its pure form, but uh, what could go wrong? <laughs> not detecting much, not detecting much smell wise, but I only ripped off the stem, so uh, what do you expect? Sometimes there's a smell, but not really in this case. Okay, I've got some tea, mascarpone, sandwiches, and 
now. Hmm. Should I do this? Not very juicy, not very juicy, a bit citrusy. And the heat is building. Oh. Okay, the walls are quite thin, it's not very juicy, it's citrusy, very sweet, oh, and very hot. Very insidious, it's... In the beginning there's almost no heat, and now... I'm tearing up a bit, and when I swallow it hurts. Wow, oh, right on the back of the throat, it's the worst. Oh. And it's almost only burning there. The tonsils. Ah. Feels like my tonsils are burning up. And I'm only slightly over dramatizing. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> good stuff. <sighs> Normally the burn is the worst when it reaches my tummy, but I'm well prepared. I have eaten lunch already and a big portion of oats and cereals with a lot of high-fat milk in order to build a protective layer in my digestive system sift, <laughs> digestive sift, digest, uh, digestive system and in order to dilute the capsaicin and capsaicinoids of whoa I think it's starting to die down in the mouth now, but I try the sandwich now. Here we go. I think chewing and when I have to stop breathing in order to chew, this is not nice because the wind flow cools nicely when I breathe. Hmm. 
I must say, ice cream tastes better in any case. It's best when I turn it around in my mouth so that the cream rubs off. That's the best. I think my ears ring a little bit. Well, well, in principle it seems to work. The rough structure of the bread rubs uh, clean the palate, so to speak, and the high fat content of the mascarpone cream dilutes the capsaicin and capsaicinoids and flushes them off. At least that's the idea behind this. <laughs> and this is just gunpowder green tea, by the way. It's just what I drink usually in the evening. <clears throat> the pain in the mouth starts to fade away and it hasn't even really started in my stomach but uh, maybe that's just because I'm so well prepared and I ate a whole lot of cereal right before this <sighs> I was hoping that I would develop some hiccups, which I find always very funny in these hot pepper eating videos. But for some reason, hot peppers do not induce uh, sweat really in me. And they do not cause hiccups. The worst thing that's happening for me is what happens in my stomach. And maybe later on when um, it passes, passes further down in my system, if you know what I mean. <sighs> well, I guess I don't even need this. <coughs> Two more sandwiches. And to be honest, they don't really taste all that well. A pure mascarpone cream, not all that good. I added some cinnamon, but... Um, it has to come in the form of tiramisu in order to be really tasty. At least uh, it has to be sweetened up and uh, some strawberries maybe, but um, I guess uh, basic form this is a heat remedy. And what was really weird is that the burn, well it started really really slow and then it built it build it and build it and build it up and then the heat whoa hiccup the heat was at the back of the throat felt as if my tonsils were burning up and it was only there or at least it was there maybe it was there so bad uh, that I didn't feel it in any other part of my mouth but um, well Uh, what's the time? 11 minutes? 
and I didn't uh, pop it into my mouth and start chew, started to chew right at the beginning. Uh, so maybe it will take a while before I feel the pain in my belly. So far, I feel good. Nice endorphin rush when it started to burn really bad. No. Maybe a slight numbness in my mouth, but um, otherwise, mm, mm, good. The taste uh, was honestly not all that great, but uh, not bad. Um, citrusy is uh, what appeared to be most dominant to me, and there was also a prominent sweetness that developed when uh, right in parallel with the heat. But otherwise, um, no fruitiness, no floralness that um, came to my mind. And if I compare it back to the uh, Butjolokia, um, this one had a very distinctive um, taste. And this one, not not really all that uh, distinguished. Hmm. But uh, certainly no habanero taste. And um, as you might know, I uh, do not really like this uh, peachy, soapy taste. And no, sir, not... Not even a hint of that in this one. So, yeah, I'm content. I'm happy with this. This is something that I appreciate. Bang! Strong heat, then it fades away and you feel good. That's uh, the optimum, so to speak. But uh, we shall see if there are any um, long-term consequences to this. And um, I'm not expecting it to be too bad. And I think I would start to feel something in my belly now, if there would be something. Maybe that's a favorable uh, combination of capsaicin and capsaicinoids in this variety that hurts mostly in my mouth and apparently um, there, almost only the back of my throat, near the tonsils. Weird, but um, okay. It works. <sighs> yeah. This one is also taking part in my breeding program where I'm trying to develop a small fruited super hot chili pepper variety and um, more about that in the future so far so good and um, that's it okay some time has passed now and um, I must say uh, I have to fight down the urge to vomit a little bit <clears throat> You know, when the saliva starts to flow together in your mouth and um, I can feel a burn building in my stomach, but um, it does not really feel uh, connected with the feeling that I might have to vomit, that I might have to vomit, but um, well, I think it's, it's okay, but it's definitely, definitely a super hot. I don't know if it's a world record level. I cannot determine the amount of capsaicin and capsaicinoids just by my sense organs, but um, it's definitely a bad one. Mm -hmm. But I think I will be okay. And um, sometimes when I burp, um, there's an aroma that uh, comes with it. And I think I can now detect some smokiness in it. That's sometimes mentioned in the descriptions of this uh, variety. But maybe that's just a marketing uh, bullshit. Because of the brown color, it might be suggested that it um, has a smoky taste. 
just like uh, yellow varieties often are associated with uh, citrusy or banana-like or lemon uh, notes. Anyway, um, the sandwich I started to eat the second one, but uh, they are really not all that tasty. And I even drank a bit of milk in the meantime, so I'm not really sure if this is a good heat remedy, but um, it seems to work uh, to um, relieve the mouth of um, the heat, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it. I think I will be fine. And um, this is uh, the aftermath. <laughs> the first one, at least. But uh, that's the end of the video, I promise. Keep up, Sevier.